Do you know you're probably feeding your cat wrong? And according to many feline veterinary specialists, your veterinary may not be the best source of nutritional information for your cat. Are you looking to learn more about natural pet health and wellness? You've come to the right place. Click the link to subscribe to Veterinary Secrets. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. I'm having a brand new webinar on cat health and nutrition and you're invited. You're gonna learn what to feed, what not to feed, plus my most important natural remedies. Holistic options for diabetes, kidney disease, urinary tract disease. It's happening Tuesday, February 13th at 5 p.m. Pacific and the webinar, it's free. Click the link in the box below to sign up. So what exactly should you be feeding your cat? And who do you trust? Is it your vet? Dr. Lisa Pearson, a renowned feline veterinarian, says this. Unfortunately, many veterinarians, they are not the best source of nutritional advice for your cat. Just putting a little bit of thought into what you're feeding your cat, that can pay huge dividends with the lifetime of your cat. That may very well help them avoid very serious, painful, and life-threatening diseases. Just like medical doctors, many veterinarians receive very little training in nutrition. It's not like you can just open a cookbook and look it up like, okay, Let's feed your cat this and it'll all be good. Unfortunately, and this is my experience in veterinary school, some of the large pet food companies, they actually help sponsor some of our events. So then you can see how they can potentially influence the curriculum in terms of what we're taught. Obviously that represents a conflict of interest. We're taught the dry kibble, it's completely fine for cats. You wanna be feeding cat foods that are backed by science, i.e. these quality companies like Hills. Cats can do great eating dry kibble. It's completely fine if a cat eats kibble as long as he has enough water. There is no concern with carbohydrates. Cats, they can metabolize carbohydrates just fine. It turns out that much of what I was taught was wrong about what you should be feeding your cat. Just take away even the quality of a kibble. There is no such thing as a high quality cat kibble. I don't care whether it's friskies or if it's science diet. Feeding dry cat kibble, that's associated with diabetes, kidney disease, urinary tract disease, inflammatory bowel disease, hairballs, obesity, hepatic lipidosis, that's fatty liver disease, and dental disease. Dry cat kibble, it's often contaminated, bacteria, mites, mold, even toxins. That alone, it could be making your cat sick more than you realize. Here are some specific cat nutritional facts you should be aware of. Number one, our cats evolved as obligate carnivores, meaning they need animal protein, not just to thrive, but to survive. Your cat cannot get all his nutritional needs from a carbohydrate like rice. He won't get all the essential amino acids. And if he gets that, he's gonna be clinically sick. He'll develop heart disease, potentially even go blind. They've developed really unique ways in terms of how they utilize the protein, the fat, the minerals in the prey. Think about what a cat would eat in the wild. He's hunting mice. Lots of protein, lots of fat, minimal to no carbohydrates. That core concept, that should be at the forefront of cat nutrition and disease. They require way more protein compared to dog. The canine minimum adult protein requirement, it is 12%. A cat minimum adult protein requirement, 29%. Cats, they evolved as animals with very poor triggers for thirst. So when they're hunting in the wild, that's where they would get most of their moisture. They're not accustomed to going and drinking water out of a bowl. They're adapted to eating multiple small meals throughout the day. They might normally eat up to 10 times in a day. And this is really important when we think about urinary tract disease, because we know when a cat eats this many times, he's much more likely to have a normal urinary pH. It's not too alkaline, because that's what can form struvite crystals. It's not too acidic, because that can lead to the form of calcium oxalate. It's a balanced urinary pH. Just by eating the multiple small meals can keep your cat from getting urinary tract disease. Cats, they're especially sensitive to the feel, the smell, the taste of the food. What's the deal about carbohydrates? So yes, your cat can use carbohydrates as an energy source, but they were not designed to utilize them. Your cat was designed for high protein metabolism. They're not designed to digest this, carbohydrates. They get so much more energy from protein than most species. Cats have a very short colon, meaning it's really difficult for them to break down starches and fibers, i.e. flaxseed. They lack the liver enzyme glucokinase. That's used to break down blood sugar, glucose. Let's just say your cat consumes a higher carb meal, one that includes sweet potato. His blood sugar is gonna spike. Your cat lacks the ability to rapidly break that down. You have all this blood sugar flooding your cat's body. Your cat can't properly metabolize it and use it. So when this happens, their pancreas is trying to produce enough insulin. It can't keep up, it can't produce enough insulin. 
Then what do we see? We see our cats becoming diabetic. Do you ever wonder why there seems to be an epidemic of diabetic cats? They're eating too many of these. They're eating too many carbohydrates, this dry carb loaded kibble. Do you know that even many of the cat foods that claim to have high protein, it's a plant protein like soy. But do you know about soy? It's a known disruptor of thyroid function. In 60% of all tested cat foods, they had soy at a high enough a level to actually disrupt thyroid function. So the companies are making it sound like, oh, it's a good quality cat food. It's got high protein, but it's a plant protein. And it's a plant protein potentially doing harm to your cat. So let's just summarize this. Well, number one, most cats, they're fed a dry kibble with no water predisposing them to all those diseases we talked about, diabetes, urinary tract disease, kidney disease. Number two, foods with too high of a carbohydrate level. This is predisposing your cat to obesity, diabetes. Point number three, most cats, they are fed not enough protein and the wrong type of protein. Often it's a plant-based protein such as this soy, which can do far more harm than good. And can anyone ever imagine a cat willingly eating tofu? Me, no, never. So what should you be feeding your cat? You should never be feeding your cat dry cat kibble. You need to get rid of this stuff. The food you should be feeding, it should be canned, homemade, or raw cat food. It has three things that every cat needs. It is high protein. It is high in moisture, minimal to no carbohydrates. And if you can do that one thing, it is going to be so much better for the long-term health of your cat. My last cat, Marie, he was a diabetic. He was a diabetic because he ate so much dry, carb-loaded cat kibble, high carbohydrates, overwhelmed his pancreas. He became a diabetic. And I didn't feed Murray the dry cat kibble. I actually adopted him through the veterinary clinic. He was relinquished as he was diagnosed being a diabetic. His owners were unwilling to treat him. The next cat I get, and it's gonna be really soon, he or she will never be eating dry cat kibble. Thank you so much for watching this edition of Veterinary Secrets. I hope this gives you a much better idea of what you should be feeding your cat for health and nutrition. I'm having a brand new cat webinar, you're invited. You're gonna learn what are the best foods to be feeding your cat now and what you should never feed your cat. Cat disease is linked to nutrition and my top natural remedies. How to help your cat for asthma, diabetes, kidney disease, urinary tract disease, liver disease, even cancer. Click up there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign for notifications, and then you click that link directly in the box below. I can send you a copy of my free book.